Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from TomePure.com and in this video we'll get into the Hollywood Orchestrator Adventure Pack which just came out a few days ago. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first preset. We have the Other Worlds folder now in the Scores section and the first one we'll look at is the first one in the set of six. So here it is. What I like to do is solo the different sections to see how they've orchestrated things. So let's take a look at the Winwoods, the Woodwinds, and uh, we'll go ahead and mute the other three section using the key switches. Also using the mod wheel. So we get an idea of what's going on there and we can look at the individual instruments you used and the different articulations. So the next thing we'll do is uh, we'll go ahead and unmute the other sections and let's listen to the brass by itself. And then we'll listen to the percussion. And let's listen to the strings by themselves. And then we'll listen to the whole thing once again. So I'll unmute each of the other sections. Now, the brass is sort of dominating, so it's a good idea to go into the brass section and turn the mics down a little bit. Maybe we can solo the brass and bring them down. And then when we hear everything together, So a better mix there. So of course you would want to tweak your mixes. And you could just use the individual sections and you know different combinations in your composition and then write other complementary sections yourself. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next preset, which would be the Other Worlds 2. And there it is. So I'll go ahead and um, unmute everything and then we'll listen to what it sounds like. Okay. 
And let's solo the percussion. And the strings. And then the brass. So it looks like there isn't any movement in the brass. Just all sustains. A little bit of movement there. We can see it looks like the uh, solo trumpet. Bring it up a little bit. And then see everything together. We'll just do this. And the next preset is the Otherworld 3. Let's solo the strings. And the percussion. Bring the chimes down a little bit and then listen to the uh, brass. And then the woodwinds. We can bring those up. And together. Sorry for the wrong note there. Let's take a look at the next preset, Other Worlds 4. And Other Worlds 4, which, which is right around here. Let's go ahead and refresh it. And let's go ahead and solo the strings. And here's the percussion. So we have harps and a celesta. And then the brass. Two French horns, solo trumpet, two tubas, and a solo tuba.
And then in the uh, woodwinds, English horn, clarinet, three bassoon patch, and flutes. And then all together. And the next patch is the other world's five. And it's three, four time. So let's listen to that together. Now let's just listen to the strings alone. And then the uh, percussion alone. And then the brass alone. And then the woodwinds. So in doing these, you have to make sure that you don't lose the woodwinds in the mix or the percussion in the mix, because they're usually overpowered by either the brass, the strings, or both. So let's listen to the whole thing once again. We'll go ahead and um, unmute everything. And if you bring down the mod wheel, it's not quite as overpowering. And then if you need the power, it's there. Let's take a look at the last one in the set, number six, and then the mixer view. Let's go ahead and unmute everything. So here's the full orchestra. And let me, sometimes what happens is you lose the keyboard. So if you go back, if you go to the play, then there, then it appears. And then it, if you go back to the uh, orchestrator and the mixer, it's back. So. Let's listen to the strings by themselves, see what's going on there. And the percussion. So we have a timpani, celeste, and a harp. The brass. And the woodwinds. Let's see what happens if we uh, solo the woodwinds and the percussion together. Maybe I take down the uh, timpani a little bit. Let's throw the woodwinds in. Oh, we have them, okay. Let's throw in the strings.
I bring the strings down. We can hear the balance better. And then if I bring the brass in. So we hear that. Uh, So the next, now we go to a different uh, set of patches, the Dark Kingdom. So this is the first one in the mix, and let's hear what let's uh, hear what that sounds like. So we see we have a sparse orchestration compared to the others. Let's bring those uh, woodwinds up a little bit. Okay, let's take a listen to the next preset, which is in the same series, Dark Kingdom 2. Most of the brass just has the one instrument, and you really okay. We're losing the keyboard again, so I'll go back to play. There it is. Okay, now playing here, and let's solo the woodwinds. We could bring those up a little bit. Now let's hear everything in combination. Okay, next one is um, the third preset in Dark Kingdoms, and it's, it has a 3 4 feel. I'll go ahead and mute the percussion. There we go. 
So we see uh, the orchestration, a little on the sparse side once again. We just have one instrument in the brass, the staccato, low staccato brass. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next preset. Dark Kingdom, another 3-4 feel. So let's see what's going on in the sections. Here's the strings. Percussion, actually, yeah, let's solo the percussion. And let's solo the brass. And then everything together. In the next preset we have, okay, that was actually the series for the uh, Dark Kingdom. Now we enter into the Discovering Atlantis series. And let's hear how that all sounds together. Let's hear the strings by themselves. See what's going on the percussion. Obviously that tam tam's in there. The nice thing is if you like you could just mute it. And then we have the uh, brass. Just the two instruments, the two French horns and the two trombones. And then in the woodwinds, bring those out a little bit. And then let's hear it all together. Next preset we have is 
I'm just going to come up here. Discovery Atlantis 2. And let's go ahead and hear how all that sounds together. And here's your strings. And your percussion. I have a mark tree in there, that's interesting. We can solo it. Actually, it's not really coming through for some reason. And let's go with the, actually, better take that solo off so we can hear the harp and the uh, celesta. And then we have the brass. And the woodwinds. Let's just do the woodwinds and percussion for fun. Okay, next preset will be the third in the series. So we have Discovery and Atlantis 3. And we'll go ahead and go to play and perform and get our keyboard back. <laughs> Let's hear what's going on individually. That's a pretty full section right there. Then in the percussion. Let's make sure everything's playing. There's your Celesta, Crotels, and the harp. And then in your brass, we just have the sustained French horn, apparently. Oh, no instrument in these three slots. And then in the woodwinds, apparently the strings are doing most of the heavy lifting in this. So next preset, we have Discovering Atlantis 4, which sounds, let's get our keyboard back.
So in the strings. In the percussion. And then in the uh, brass. together. And then we have the fifth preset. Discovering Atlantis. So we have our strings. Okay, Mark Tree's working this time. That's good. And our brass. Woodwinds. And all together once again. And then we have the last one in this set. And right away we can tell there is a percussion that needs to be tamed down. So if we go into the percussion section, the tam tam of that. Yeah. So let's solo the strings. Percussion. Again, we could just leave out the whoops, I didn't want to solo one mute it. And then we have our brass. Just two French horns. 
Maybe turn those down a bit. And then the woodwinds. Let's see, I want to solo those. The soon was dominating a little bit. So let's hear everything together one more time. Actually, uh, yeah, we got everything. I did mute out the Tam Tam. Actually, we could throw that in and see how it sounds in the mix. does sort of linger too long so that would need to be adjusted so next patch we have is a new set now going into the enchanted forest and so together it sounds like this Let's hear the strings alone. Lots of pizzicato stuff going on. A little bit of saltasto. And then we have the percussion. There it is. Got the cloves and the harp and Celesta. Then we have the brass. Just the two French horns. Just want to tone it down a little bit. And then the woodwinds. Okay. So let's take a look at the next preset. So the next preset we have is the Enchanted Forest 2, and it's in 3-4 time. And here's the complete set. Now let's listen to the strings alone. And then the percussion alone.
Nice. And then the uh, brass. I don't think there is any brass. I didn't hear any brass. Yeah, no brass. Oh, yeah, what do we have? A couple of French horns. And a solo tuba. And then in the woodwinds. together. I really like that preset. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the next one, Enchanted Forest 3. So let's uh, listen to the whole thing. Let's listen to the strings alone. And the percussion. Nice. And then the uh, brass. Let's listen to the uh, percussion and woodwinds. Yeah, nice preset, a lot of nice sections in there. Okay, let's go ahead and move on. The next preset, Enchanted Forest 4. So, go over to play and then back to perform. Okay. And here's the whole preset. <laughs> Strings alone. Percussion alone. Apparently that percussion kit is has some lingering instruments in it. 
convocate. And then let's listen to the brass. Just two French horns. Sustained patches. And then the woodwinds. Let's listen to the strings in combination. So interesting uh, combination. Okay, let's move on to the next patch. There it is, okay. And let's hear what that sounds like with all of the sections playing. Not a lot of movement, initial impression, let's look at the strings. So we see there is some movement going on, but it's subtle. And then let's take a look at the percussion. And if we take, go back to the strings, I think the bass and the cello legato are sort of uh, covering up the motion in the higher strings. So if we mix a little bit down, it's more prominent now. And then let's go back, or let's go to the brass. And the brass is probably covering up the motion too. So. Tone that down and then woodwinds. Now let's hear the uh, woodwinds and strings. Okay, so let's take a look at the final patch. And that would be the sixth patch in the Enchanted Forest series. So together, let's go ahead and look at, get the keyboard down there. Let's look at what's going on in the strings. Actually, there's, I think, too much reverb. Let's go ahead and turn off the reverb just for fun and see what that's like. And 
and let's solo the uh, percussion. And then let's solo the brass. And then we have the woodwinds. Okay, and then together. So the brass is clearly overwhelming everything. So let's go ahead and uh, take those French horns down. And now let's try everything. And then with the mod wheel, we can raise the volume. So that's a look at each of the presets in the adventure series as well as the individual sections. So hope you enjoyed uh, the in-depth look at the presets. So Bill McFadden signing off from TonePure.com. <laughs>